Beautiful day to you lovely children. How are you today? Welcome to Divine Offspring International School Virtual Classroom. And today on mathematics, we'll be taking the topic Angles for Grade 3 class. Presented by me, Ms. Gifts, Ugoji. Our key words for this class are angles, acute, obtuse, reflex, square corner, intersect, rotation, and vertex. For this class, you'll be needing your exercise book as usual, your pen or pencil, and your brain. You need to be mentally alert and concentrate all through this teaching. All right, I have a quiz for you. Quickly do this before we proceed. Identify three objects with corners at home. Three objects with corners at home. I'll give you two examples. Then you try to find other objects that have corners, angles at home. Your chair, the corner of your television set, even the exercise book you're holding, and this laptop has corners. So you identify three other objects that have corners at home. Shall we continue? Okay, you can see the corner. This is called the vertex. This part is called the vertex. And these two lines form an angle there. Okay. Now, what is an angle? Because our topic is angle. An angle is a point where two lines meet. It is denoted by the sign. Can you see the sign there? An angle is denoted by this sign. An angle can also be called vertex or corner. Angles are usually measured in degrees and a complete rotation is 360 degrees. Now what do I mean by that? You can see this line. This line is called line AO. Line AO. Look at this other line. Line OB, right? Now when we join these two lines together, when we join these two lines together, It forms angle A, O, B. It forms angle A, O, B. And this is the angle here. Okay. Now, there are different types of angles. We'll be studying them right now. The first one is a right angle. A right angle is an angle that is 90 degrees. You can see this horizontal line. Sorry, this vertical line and this horizontal line. They come together to form an angle which is 90 degrees. Now, the next one is acute angle. Acute angle. An acute angle is actually less. It's smaller than 90 degrees. You can see between this line and this line. You can see this angle here is smaller than... 90 degrees. See this dotted line is supposed to be 90 degrees. Now the next one is obtuse angle. An obtuse angle is greater than 90 degrees. It's greater than 90 degrees. But it's not up to straight line angle. It's greater than 90 degrees but it's less than 180. It could be 105, 120, but it's less than 180. Okay. Now the next one is straight line angle. You can see this line here and this line here. They come together here actually to form a straight line. And it's measure, measured 180 degrees. You can see this part is a right angle, isn't it? This other part is also a right angle. So two right angles make straight line angle which is 90 plus 90, 180 degrees. Now, reflex angle. Reflex angle is bigger than straight line angle. As you can see, 
reflex angle is more than 180 degrees but it's not up to one complete rotation is more than 180 degrees but it's less than 360 degrees now complementary angles complementary angles are angles that join to form a right angle angles are joined to form a right angle as you can see this is a right angle isn't it here and here but there are two angles here that meet to form a right angle so if you add this part and this part together it will give you 90 degrees the next is supplementary angle a supplementary angle su supplementary angles are angles that come together to form 180 degrees like here can you see the straight line and we know that straight line angles are equal to 180 isn't it so this angle here plus this plus this must give us 180 degrees because they all form on a straight line and a straight line angle is 180 degrees now complete angle it's just like rotating back to the original point you can see all the way from here from zero it rotates down to here which is 180 right then it goes again which gives you 360 degrees it's called a complete turn or a complete angle is that okay and it's 360 degrees okay uses of angles you know that angles are very important in our everyday life engineers and architects they use angles for the design of roads buildings and sporting facilities a surveyor uses the theodolite at the construction site to measure the angle we are my football lovers did you observe where the players take the corner kick from whenever a football match is going on where the players take a corner kick from so that corner kick is also an angle well the point at which the lines intersect is what forms an angle. Now let's treat measuring angles. It's very, very simple and easy. To measure angle, we use the protractor. We use the protractor. The protractor is in your math sets, in your mathematical sets. We use the protractor to measure the size of an angle, taking the following steps. Step one, place the center of the protractor on the vertex of the angle and let the baseline fall exactly along the line. Don't worry, we're going to do that together in the next slide. Then step two, find the angle. Now look at this. Let's take this example. Measure the angle FOC. Angle FOC. In the figure below follow the steps given in the previous slide okay now look at this angle that has been drawn this point O is the vertex right this is the vertex and this is our base line where we're going to start from we're going to be starting from here so where we place the protractor the center of the protractor must touch this point here, must touch the vertex. Then the line that points to zero should also face this place. You place that line on this, then you find the angle. Can we do that? So just place the protractor on this shape. Can you see? Look at the center. Look at the baseline exactly on what was drawn then we can measure this part now let's find the angle can you see we measure from here this is zero isn't it we start from here not here this is 10 20 30 and 40 so this is angle 40 degrees angle foc is 40 degrees okay now let's move to drawing an angle for you to draw an angle, 
the first one is to draw a line which isn't it and that line is called the baseline isn't it whereas where you have the vertex here that center point that will touch the protractor now the next thing is measure make sure this line on your paper is exactly where you place the line of the protractor and this is the center then you measure you want to measure 40 degrees then over here you mark 40 degrees after marking it just take your protractor up and connect this line you drew must touch the vertex to form the angle 40 degrees okay after watching this video we have the notes for you on the portal so watch the notes as well if you don't understand you can go back to the video watch it carefully then attempt all the questions sent on the classwork section okay now the summary of what we've done so far is meaning of angles we studied measuring angles and we also did we learned how to draw angles hope you enjoyed today's class i'll see you next week by god's grace for now it's bye